So in this video, I wanna share with you my top five picks for proven products to start selling today, right now in Q4 2021. I've done a lot of research into these products using a new tool I've been using recently, and I gave you a demonstration in one of my past videos that I did recently of how to use that tool to find products exactly like the ones you're about to see in this video. As per the format of today then, it's gonna be the same as all of my past product recommendation videos. I'm gonna be showing you the product, the supplier that I recommend, the retail prices and profit margins you can expect, the data behind these products of why they are called proven products and also the Facebook interests that I would recommend targeting. Another positive to these products is they all come with fast shipping options of either 10 days or less. If you watch any of my videos you know I'm a big believer of getting your products to your customer as fast as possible and making sure those products are high quality too. If you want to build a business that's going to be profitable for the long term and it's going to be sustainable then you've got to get your products to your customers as fast as possible and as high quality as possible as well. Before I show you product number one then, just a very quick message. If you're sat watching this video now and you haven't started your business yet, I highly recommend you get started as soon as possible. A good Q4, I've documented it in my early videos, can literally change your life as corny as it sounds. It can set you up for a very long time and generate some cash that you can put into another business or into another area that will then provide an income for you for many years to come. And with that being said, thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to drop a like if you do enjoy the video. And of course, if you do go ahead and test one of these products, make sure you come back and let me know how you get on. That being said, let's take a look at product number one, which is this smart brake light. Now coming into Q4, certainly here in the UK, as we're coming towards the end of summer and the clocks change, it's gonna get dark from about 4 p.m. onwards. And essentially what this means is that people who finish work at five o'clock, people who finish school late, people who like to exercise after work outside, whether they go cycling or running, they're gonna be, they're gonna have to, sorry, do all of those things in the dark. So when you're in the dark, you need to stay safe, especially if you're on the road. So products like this, brake lights essentially for your bike, spike in popularity massively. And I'll show you that in a second using the Google Trends info. The reason this product makes the list though is not because it's a brake light, it's because it has a great USP, which is point number one. So when you're trying to take a product to market and sell it on a social media platform, every social media platform out there is quite a busy space. So you need to sell a product that has a really unique USP or wow factor, whatever you want to call it, so it captures people's attention. Essentially what this brake light does, if I click the image, it will take us straight to the supplier. That reminds me, in fact, I've got to mention this in the intro. If you guys want to get a copy of this presentation, download it for free. Let's try and get this video to 100 likes. And if we can do that, what I'll do is I'll pin it in the top comments so everybody can get their hands on it and all the links and all the suppliers and so on and so forth for 100% free. So the way this product works basically is it has motion sensors in it. So whenever you move your bike, it automatically switches on. When you start slowing down i.e. applying the brakes then it starts to shine brighter letting people know behind you that you're braking and there's some obstacle in the road and obviously when people see that they're going to brake and slow down too so it can actually help avoid accidents and keep people safe on the roads so to me that's just a great product because anybody who knows a cyclist whether it's a husband or wife it makes the perfect gift because it also falls into that kind of correct price bracket the chances of trying to get somebody to spend say 200 pounds on somebody for a gift on Christmas, it's gonna be a lot harder, obviously, than getting them to spend, say, 30 to 40 pounds. Point number two is it's really popular right now. So if we click the Google Trends info and take us to the search term, we can see once it loads up, the, the bike light search term in the UK 2004 to present, we can see towards the end of summer, October, September time, November time, December time, this search term becomes super popular because it starts getting darker here in the UK. And if I draw your attention then to September 2021, we can see there's been a sudden spike in popularity, i.e. it means to start selling a product like this today is ideal. Point number four, this product comes with fast shipping, as I mentioned in the introduction. And then point five, there's lots of upsell opportunities. So the chances are if somebody needs a a light for the back of the bike they also need a light for the front of the bike so you could upsell them for a slightly cheaper light and bump up that average order value 
In terms of my recommended selling price then, the cost of this product is 15 pounds delivered. That would be the total cost you pay. I recommend a selling price of 30 to 40 pounds. Some people may think that's quite expensive, but I've sold brake lights before um, pretty much every winter time. And as long as it's a really kind of high quality product, people don't mind paying it because decent quality cycling gear is really expensive. This leaves you a profit margin of 15 to 25 pounds per sale. Moving on to Facebook interests to target, I would recommend as a starting point road cycling, cycling club, road bicycle and racing bike. These are going to be all the sorts of people who are super passionate about cycling and members of cycling clubs and also riding their bikes on the roads. This is going to be the product that people who ride their bikes on the road is made for. Product number two is this Fort Builder. I was quite excited to show you guys this product because I've actually bought one of these for my dog, um, believe it or not, because I'm one of those kind of weird dog people. He would absolutely love something like this and so would any sort of two to probably six year old. I certainly remember as a kid building forts out of the cushions off the sofa, but the next best thing is you can actually get something like this, lots of different rods and attachments, and you can build your own fort in your own shape, put a sheet over it, and essentially you have it done. The reason a product like this would sell so well um, coming up to Q4, it's pretty obvious, but number one is gonna be practical and educational products. On Christmas day, parents don't get much time off during the working week or during the year. So on Christmas day, it's their one chance to spend time with their kids and do fun activities. And what's more fun than actually building something that's practical and educational too. So definitely a product like this is gonna be of interest for pretty much every parent out there, pretty much every grandparent out there to buy it for their kids and have a fun activity to actually do on Christmas day. Point number two, it has that wow factor and that USP. Everybody built forts when they were a children. So it's the perfect time for when those children then become parents, they can then do it with their children. And it's an original product too. If we take a look at it on AliExpress, this product doesn't actually have many orders. This one, this actual list in here, which comes with fast shipping, only has seven orders. When I did a search for it on AliExpress, the biggest supplier was maybe 100, 200 orders, which can mean one of two things. It could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. The good thing could be that it's an untapped product. Not many people have found it and actually selling it, which means you could be one of the first people to to bring it to a platform which could spell huge opportunity or number two it could just be that it's a bad product but until you actually test it then you'll never know either way talking about numbers then the cost of this product is 14 pounds delivered which is super cheap i recommend as a minimum as a very minimum 40 pounds i could see somebody paying at least 50 60 maybe even a bit more for products like this but 40 pound could be your starting point which leaves a decent profit margin of 26 pounds per sale in terms of interest you can target then I've double checked all of these and found these and picked them out myself. You can target educational toy as an interest. You can target child development, engage shoppers. I think this will be a good one leading up to Q4. Might bump up your CPMs, but it's definitely worth testing. Um, next one is just toys as a general audience and then parents with. There's parents with naught to one years, parents with three to five years. You could test a whole wide range of parents with kids of different ages and again just see which one gets the best response. Product number three is this LED safety vest. You may have seen it before but bear with me because this is a great product for this time of year here in the UK. So essentially the way it works if we open up the AliExpress listing then it's a vest that you put on your back. It's new for 2021. There's different technologies with this one than there has been with others in the past. It's been a product myself. I've had my eyes on for a couple of years, but never got around to selling. But essentially the way it works is it's a vest that you put on your back and then you've got this handheld kind of remote and you can pretty much just choose what signal to put on the back of your vest. This would be perfect for people who work in Deliveroo and Just Eat, those sorts of people who are whizzing around on their bikes. And especially as it gets dark from 4 p.m. onwards, there's gonna be more and more people on bikes on the roads in the dark that would find a use for products like this. It also makes a great gift for Q4. Anybody who knows somebody, whether it's their son, daughter, or their mum or dad maybe, that perhaps have a job or they perhaps commute home in the dark, seeing a product like this, they're gonna think straight away of that person and if you can help keep somebody safe for the sake of 40 pounds, then especially if it's a loved one, then obviously you're going to do it. So let's take a look at the Google Trends info then to see if a product like this is actually in demand. And the search term I used for this then was road safety, just to kind of illustrate that every time the clocks kind of change October time, this 
search term spikes in popularity because more and more people are looking to stay safe on the roads and obviously there's more accidents during the winter months when it's darker versus the summer months when it's lighter. I've also got a Facebook ad example to share with you guys just to kind of show how I would go about advertising a product like this. I'm just gonna go ahead and pause it, put it back to the beginning, just make this a bit bigger so you can see exactly how it works. So the actual video ad these guys are using, it hasn't got much traction, I think like a few hundred uh, views if I'm not mistaken. Um, 15K views are so not too bad, but the video itself is quite pixelated. If you're gonna sell this product, I would definitely invest in one yourself and go out and film some original and better content, or better yet, approach some influencers, some YouTubers, some Facebook people, um, Instagram people, that have a channel or profile around cycling and ask them to film some content for you. So this is how it works. It's got a little remote on the handlebars, which is pretty cool. And then you select the signal and it just illustrates to people behind you what you're intending to do and i.e. help keeping people safe. Coming down to prices then, the cost of this is 15 pounds, really cheap products considering it, it literally could save somebody's life. I recommend a selling price of around 40 pounds because then it could still be considered in that kind of gift price range, which leaves a decent profit margin of 25 pounds per sale. The interest I would recommend as a starting point on Facebook would be road cycling, cycling club, road bicycle, commuting and cities. Pretty much very similar to the bike light I showed you earlier on in the video, but with a products like this, you're gonna be targeting more people that live in cities, people who do commuting. And I'm not sure actually, I didn't check, but you might even be able to target people who work for Deliveroo and Just Eat, just as something else to split test to see how it works. Product number four then is kind of a niche slash a specific product. This is the specific products that I recommend, but overall I recommend just ed educational toys, sorry, as a general. But let's go into the tablet itself. So open up an AliExpress and just see exactly what it is. Now it is kind of borderline high ticket products. You can see there the price for the more expensive one is 50 pounds. But what you can actually do on this product is massive. There's so many different games and lessons that a child could have fun with. It definitely makes a great product for new parents, grandparents looking to buy their kids something that is actually gonna teach them something, help develop them something, rather than just sit on an iPad playing normal games or watching videos on YouTube. So let's get into the reasons then of why I've picked this product. Number one, it's the most popular niche in Q4, hands down. Um, I mentioned it in a previous video when I used to work at Sainsbury's. Um, educational toys were always kind of like the second category of toys to sell out the fastest. Number one was always the branded stuff, um, things like Avatar toys, Minions, um, what's the big one at the moment? Frozen toys, they always sold out super quick. But number two is always educational toys. It's pretty much just guaranteed to sell. They are going to sell. As long as you put together a really nice store, have a really nice product and a really nice ad tagged in the right people, I will guarantee that you can make sales with a product like this. This brings me on to point number two then, would make a great one product store. One product store doesn't work for every single product. If you have like a super simple Product. There's not enough information to kind of bulk out a website to sell it. Whereas with a product like this, there's so many different apps and features and functions of the tablets and of the lessons, there is a lot of information that you could produce to help sell this product. And that would be my advice. Buy one or two of these, send them to an influencer, an unboxer, take some pictures and just basically put together kind of like an itinerary essentially or an instruction manual of what's on the tablet just to kind of help sell it. Let's talk numbers next then. The cost of this product is four. £40 for the cheaper one we saw earlier, £50 for the more expensive one. So straight away there's an upsell opportunity for you there when somebody hits that checkout button. You can sell this for £75. It sounds quite expensive but when you compare it to say the cost of an iPad, it's still super cheap which leaves a profit margin of £35 per sale. The interests I would recommend targeting as a starting point for this product would be educational toy, child development, engaged shoppers, again, it's a must really when it comes to testing during the Q4 months. Um, toys as a general, and then again, parents with. You can target, I would say if I had to guess, my niece is two years old and she, she still likes using her iPad. So anywhere from kind of maybe two to even up to 10 years old, depending on what apps, what tablet you buy, and essentially what it is you're trying to market and your angle um, of selling the product. Moving on to the fifth and final products then. This is probably my favorite out of all of them because if I had to hedge my bets and bet on the one product that is guaranteed to sell, I would say it would be this one here. So it's the waterproof heated vest slash coat 
comes in many variations, so you can get like the gilet jacket like this, or you can get one with short sleeves, one with long sleeves, but essentially it does the same thing. It has heaters inside it and keeps you warm wherever you go. This product itself, as it says underneath, is about to spike in popularity. So if you're looking for a really good product to get involved with today and start building your business around, this would be my number one choice. It's applicable to so many niches. Think anybody who goes outside um, during the winter months in the UK, in America, in Canada, wherever they may be, a jacket like this is going to help keep them warm. So it could be commuters on the subways, it could be hikers, it could be campers, it could be dog walkers, it could just be tradesmen that are working outside. Um, could literally be so many different people, which gives you so many different angles to then test when you go into Facebook. Number two is it also fits nicely into a niche store. So there's lots of other heated kind of pieces of clothing you could add to your store and build a store around that particular niche. So you can get heated gloves, you can actually get heated trousers, believe it or not. And I think I even saw heated socks um, when I was doing my research. Let's take a look at the Google Trends info then and see how popular this product is about to get. So the search term is heated jacket or in the UK in the past five years. And if we look at when it spikes in popularity, we can see back in 2017, it's the beginning of October. We can see in 2018, it was kind of end of September, mid-October. In 2019, again, it was October time. And in 2020, again, it was October time. So this, even though it's at zero right now, in one to two weeks, this is gonna be up here with the rest of the previous years, which just shows how much of a good product it is to start selling right now. Point number four, as with all the other products, comes with fast shipping, and let's get into the numbers. So the cost of this is 16 pounds, it's not an expensive product. You could sell this for 50 pounds quite comfortably. I had a student, in fact, that was selling these for 75 pounds, but 50 pounds still leaves you with a decent profit margin, which you could definitely make work for 34 pounds. My go-to Facebook interest then for this product would be pretty much one or two interests I'm gonna give you as an idea per niche. As so as a standpoint, you would start with dog walking, hiking, camping, and commuting, but there's pretty much unlimited and endless interests and different ways you could go about um, targeting people for this product. And with that being said, guys, I'm gonna wrap the video up. That's all five products. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you're looking for something that's a bit more than my YouTube video, so for example, I'm releasing a course on October 1st where every single week I give members products like this, but I take it one step further. So I actually give them the video ad they can use, I give them the product description they use, and I actually give them the strategy in which they could use for the product as well. So if you are looking for something like that, or at least want to find out more information, make sure you check out the first link in the video description below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.